In California, it's a little different than the National JUCO. There's no no scholarships or anything like that. So you're on your own as far as like trying to get food, sorry, as far as, far as a place, place to live. Um, you know, so you're, you're, you're competing with that first. Uh, you got to take care of that first. You got to have a way to maintain that first. You know, your way of life. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on? What's going on, ballers? And welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And as you all know, we, we managed to get these really interesting guests, right? I, I say it every week because every week I get excited about every guest that, that we happen to have on, on the show. Uh, but really quick, before we even dive into the guests, I want to just let everybody know the premise of the show. The focus of Beyond the Ball is to focus on stories, strategies, and successes to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. And today, man, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out bring out the guests because I don't even wanna waste no time, don't even wanna waste no time. So we, we have none other than uh, the, 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 the star of, of Last Chance U, right? Last Chance U, we seen him do the football. We was like, that's cool, we like football. But now we're we're gonna we're gonna take take a slight pivot and and we're gonna we're gonna bring in none other than Mr. Deshaun Hyler. Deshaun, my brother, how you doing, man? Good man, I'm good. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, man, m m most definitely, most definitely. So, man, Deshaun, I really didn't even really really hone in, but I'm gonna kick it to you and just give you a chance just to you know introduce yourself to the people, just in case anybody hasn't happened to hear about you know who Deshaun Holler is. So, go ahead, man, take take a little moment and just share a little bit with the people about who you are, man. Uh, sure. Um, I'm Deshaun Hyler. Um, right now, I'm a point guard for Sacramento State. Um, university uh if you haven't yeah, if you haven't finished the show sorry little spoiler alert um but i come from east los angeles junior college before that i'm from east riverside born and raised um and uh uh you know i've been playing basketball ever since you know i can remember yeah man yeah i, I love it deshaun talk with the people man talk with the people about what is juco life really like because I, I play junior college ball but, you know, now just seeing what we see on, on TV and people just assume what, whatever they assume about junior college. So how, how tough is it really to, to compete at the junior college level? Uh, uh, yeah. So in, in JUCO, uh, in California, it's a little different than the national JUCO. There's no no scholarships or anything like that. So you're on your own as far as like trying to get food. Sorry, as far as, far as a place, place to live, um, you know, so you're 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 competing with that first. Uh, you got to take care of that first. You got to have a way to maintain that first, you know, your way of life. Um, um, but, you know, on the court, you know, it's gritty. It's grimy out there. Um, everybody just everybody's playing for an opportunity. Everybody's playing for a way to pay the bills, um, you know, and everybody's playing for that opportunity to get that degree and um, feed their family. So it's grimy for sure. Um, it's hard. It's a war zone out there, um, you know, but. If you're made to compete and if you love basketball, then you love it. Mm. Why do you love the game so much? Um, I, I just love to compete, um, honestly. Um, and basketball was just something that was introduced to me at a really young age when I was two or three years old. Um, and, you know, just just watching it as much as it was on TV, as, as much as my mom kept it on the TV. Um, you know, and then learning who Allen Iverson was and watching him and having him, you know, he's, he's my favorite player. And, you know, if you know anything about AI, you know, you had to wear, you had to, you had to bring your, you had to bring it against him. You had to bring it against three for sure. Or otherwise you, you're you probably toast. Um, so, you know, I get a lot of my, I think I could credit a lot of the, the passion on the court for, for, uh, for that. Mm, yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, I was cold blooded, man. Hey, I was cold blooded. Real killer. Like, um, yeah, you 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 had to bring your best, if not something better, um, if you were gonna if you wanted to compete with him, for sure. Yeah, 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 man. So, <clears throat> so we talk about like you know just like the junior college aspect, and and then in comparison to 
like like division one so can, can can you just separate the two so if there's somebody out there and, and they don't understand like what a division one opportunity looks like in comparison to junior college can you just bring some context just so you know people on the outside if they're not clear or they're not sure like what what the difference might be between the two can you just shine a little bit of light there so division one basketball is the is the highest level of basketball that you can play at in the united states and probably in the world um, before you're a professional um, as an amateur player um, and the greatest opportunity that you have um, uh, it's, and it's start that's starting to change but you know it's one it's one of the greatest opportunities to have that you have to uh, to move on um, to to a professional level um, and junior college is, is more of a vehicle to get to division one or to an, another four-year university that's the, that's the goal the goal is just to get like coach rob would say the goal is to get books tuition and fees mm. first and foremost right so junior college is the vehicle to get you to a four-year university to get you a, a bigger degree a more um useful degree than just an aa you know getting you in junior college you get your aa which is a degree and it's useful and it's something to be proud of definitely um but being able to move on to the four-year university is really why you're there um, as a student. And then as, as a basketball player, like I said, it's you're there to, to earn an opportunity to go on um, and basically do the same thing because there's, whether you go division one, two, three, NAIA, it doesn't matter. Um, there's, if you're devoted and you do what you're supposed to do, you're going to have an opportunity to go on and play at the next level. Um, and then from there, you just, you know, that's 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 a whole another ladder to climb once you get into the overseas leagues. But um, Juco is just a you know, their their vehicle. You know, one one is a vehicle for the for another. You know, you go to, you play in you play in Juco to get to four year D one D two D three, and then you play D one D two D three to get on to the next level of professional. You go from there. For sure, for sure, man. So so looking back at the show, right? Because before, before, before last chance, you, I mean, you, you, you had the passion for the game and, and, and then last chance you comes around and, and now there's these cameras constantly following you. Like if, if, if you look back, what one, what, what was that like? Um, it was, it was weird at first, you know, like naturally, you know, just, just knowing that, you know, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be on TV or this, you know, this is going to have a huge audience. Um, it, it could, it could do one of two things. Um, it could, it could kind of like make you shrink a little bit at first, or it could kind of make you act out a little bit at first. And for our team, it kind of just, we kind of, we kind of, we all were kind of a little bit shy at first, but you know, after, after seeing coach Mo, uh, you know, just, it was, it was like, there was no cameras even there. So it was like, all right, well, it's, it's, it's hard to act like, it's hard to it's hard to not have a natural reaction when Coach Mo runs up a wall and slaps it. You know, what I mean, like, you know, so <laughs> so and, and then getting and then getting comfortable with the with the crew off the off the off the court was was uh, was was helpful in making us comfortable on camera. Man, he Coach Mo is something else, man. If something else, something else, and that's the only way you can really describe it. Um, you know he's 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 something else, um, but I love that guy. Yeah, man. I mean, I can just tell how devoted he is. E even though I know some stuff didn't make the cut, and you know some some stuff shouldn't have made the cut. But 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 one thing one thing that you can cut through and be able to tell like how authentic he is, his love for y'all, just just the re the respect he had for you, respect he had for for Joe, you know, and and, and, for, and for all of y'all. So man, I, I yeah, I, I mean, I, I really love just just seeing it all play out and just just following y'all on that journey, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Coach Mo um, was, you know, really, really helpful for a lot of us and not just him, you know, coach, all, all the coaches, coach, coach Ken, uh, coach Rob, um, you know, Frankie, who was, was, wasn't able to be with us as much that year. Um, but he was there from time to time, um, um, you know, all really just helpful and, and, and really just, like you said, respectful of um, not only just us as people, but what we've been through, which is what's, which is what was important for especially me and Joe, as you see on the show, but for every, every player, I mean, that's every player in, in the world, you know, I mean, that's all, that's all we want, you know, as players from coaches, like just, just understand, you know what I mean? Cause we, we have to understand you, you know what I mean? Like as a player, like we have to understand the coaches, like there's no choice. It's, you know, it's your way of the highway. 
and we bring that you know me from the jump so to just to have it just to have that be reciprocated is is um just another addition just another bonus on top onto our chemistry yeah 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 so what would you say out there to a young kid who, who might be a high school student you know they're you know they're watching last change you and you know we we've seen how, how COVID has has affected many people but you know they still want that shot they still want that chance like like what what would you tell them to keep them encouraged just through this time just keep grinding shoot uh uh there's there's no secret recipe um you just got to stay in the gym you just got to stay on your grind um keep watching keep watching the game keep learning because the game is always changing you got to stay up to date uh and your game got to stay up to date um and, and and you just gotta keep working. Um, and if you're looking for that opportunity, maybe you should maybe you should try to go to Eli uh, uh, and, and and see what they can do for you. Yeah, man. Of course, of course, of course. So now looking back, like what what, what would you say are some of your favorite moments on, on the show that that you all had? Uh, episode five is my favorite, Kobe Ranch, just because that was that was one of my that was just probably one of my favorite moments from the season altogether. Um, it was just being able to take the trip with the guys, like completely non-basketball related. Um, the only basketball thing we did was was talk about who we thought was the best player, you know. Um, but other than that, we just we just kicked it. Um, that last game was probably one of the most fun games I've ever played in my life. Um, you know, even though <laughs> we're, there was everything in that game, you know, what I mean, there was we were we were up, we were down. I was sick, I was hurt, I was. You know, uh, uh, we had we had Joe going through, you know, going off with the refs. We had KJ Duncan. We had LJ crossing people over. It, it was everything. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, that game, how lit it was, that's one of my favorites. Um, and then Coach Coach Mo, honestly, Coach Mo running up the wall like in like the first ten minutes is it was was unbelievable like i just couldn't believe it. i'm watching the show for the first time and i'm just like yep they got it it's already like i can already know i already know i'm wondering i'm sitting there wondering like okay how are they gonna what they you know what are they showing in here are they are they gonna show mo as as mo and i'm like yep yep <laughs> so oh man oh good so okay but you talking about you know you all going out to do the kobe ranch thing Man, I gotta ask you, Deshaun. Like, with you competing at, at, at such a high level, you staying in the gym, you know, you you being a devoted teammate, you know, you, you being a devoted partner. What do you do for self care? Like, what do you do when you need to recharge? Um, I chill. Um, I play video games. I take I take a minute. I go sit outside. Um, I talk to Kiara. Honestly, I talk to Kiara a lot. We 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 always um, are just talking about you know how we're, you know how we're feeling and like you know how we can help each other, you know, uh, uh, feel better, or get to where we're, get to what we're trying to do. Because most of the time, you know, when you're, when you're in that state of mind, you're just trying to get something done. Um, and, and, um, and we're a team and, you know, we, we, we help each other in that way for sure. Man, I love that. I love that. I have so much respect for y'all's relationship and just, you know, watching y'all grow on the show. And I'm, I'm even more excited, man, just to see how y'all how y'all continue to grow, continue to blossom and just and continue to kill it out here, man. Because, you know, you, you know, you got people talking about y'all's relationship goals out here in these streets, Deshaun. Right. No, yeah, that, that it's crazy because, you know, we have our, you know, we, we, we have our everything just like every couple has. Um, you know, we have our ups and our downs, but um, but we're solid. And, and that part about us. Um, is something that that nobody can really take from us, um, and we'll always choose each other. So, yeah, that yeah, part man. that part is fire. Yeah, 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 man. I I, I love it. I I think a lot of times people don't understand how valuable having having that person in your corner is. Right. Yeah, yeah and I'm and I'm just I'm just grateful like to to have like realized it right now, um, and uh, because like I was telling Coach Mosley one day like like. I could have done a lot of things um, when, you know, when my parents passed away, I could have handled that a variety of different ways. Um, and just being able to just pour all my, pour all my love and my, you know, and some of my pain and, you know, into, into this relationship has been something that's been useful. You know what I mean? It's been beautiful. Um, and it's just been um, a lot of fun, honestly, just, being able to just grow and learn with her. 
Yeah, man, that's one thing I've been learning a lot here lately because I'm, I'm I'm married for about a year now. But man, I, that's one thing I've definitely been learning that, you know, just take take time and have fun, take time and be able to enjoy my wife and, you know, just, just hang out, watch TV sometimes, play the game sometimes. Yeah, just basic things, you know what I mean? I can just, it's just so much better with doing it with somebody that you love and just sharing, sharing is just, is just a better feeling than just taking everything for yourself. Um, and that's one thing that she's taught me because she's she comes from like four or five siblings. So, you know, she's used to having to, you know, spread the love and everything. And, and, and that's how it works for her. And I'm only child. So, I'm you know, a little a little more selfish in nature. But um, yeah, yeah, she's taught me that she's taught me the value of that of that that time together. Wow. 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 Man. Yeah, that's that man. That's that's good. That's good. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. So let me, so let me, let me let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this. If if there was somebody, and it's a slight it's a slight pivot because I was just thinking about this as as you know you were just talking about, about about Coach Mo, like if there was somebody out there who's in a position, right? You know they're go, going after it. They're they're giving their all. They're sacrificing with the team, but it, it just seems like they're not just get, getting what they feel that like their due diligence should be. Like, how, how do you approach that conversation with, with a coach? And I'm asking you because, you know, I, I, I seen the show and I, and I just seen, you know, what, what took place in your hunger. So how does somebody approach that conversation with a coach? Help us out, Deshaun. Help the, help the kids out. Um, you got to produce. Um, you know, I mean, you, ha you have nothing to bring to the table um, unless, unless you have production, you know. And you can, like Coach Rob says, you don't, you don't ask for more. You show what you've done with what you've been given. You know, and um, that's one of the realest things that was said on the whole show, because that's true for anything. That's true for anything you're trying to do in life. You're trying to move up at a job. You're trying to, you know, do better in school. Like you can't just ask for a better grade. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's the same. It's the same. Like you have to earn everything. Um, so first and foremost, you got to be truthful with yourself and ask yourself, like, do you deserve that? You know, I mean, do you deserve what you're asking for? Um and be truthful about it. And that's something that a lot of people can't do. But if you can do that, then, you know, you're ahead of, you're ahead of a, you're ahead of a, a large crowd. Um, so first and foremost, you gotta be honest with yourself about that. Um, and then you just gotta trust, you just gotta trust that, that your grind is gonna pay off, you know, because you gotta, everything is it, almost, there's a lot of things that have been done before, you know what I mean? Like trying to, trying to, trying to succeed in basketball, been done a lot of times by a lot of people um and they all say a lot of the same exact things so <laughs> if you you know like they all tell you work hard stay in the gym keep grinding you'll get there right so if you just keep that in your mind and you stay true to that like through all the ups and the downs because you can't be feeling yourself too much either um because that'll knock you back further sometimes than just um than not grinding hard enough um but first you got to keep your grind there um and you gotta stay true to 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 what you had originally signed up for because as a as a player you gotta understand that you signed up for that mm. as a kid as a kid you don't understand like that you signed you signed up for a an extremely competitive an extremely competitive competition like it's 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 it's, it's extreme there's it's one percent that goes to the highest level. Mm. So you don't really understand all the emotions that are going to come with trying to attain that. Um, and like, this is for, I don't know what to tell the five-star athlete who has the, the pick of their schools. You know what I mean? I don't know what that feels like. That's, a completely, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's a completely different feeling, but for the underdog who, who doesn't really have much and is trying to get there, um, you got to stay alive. That's the main thing. You gotta stay alive, um, and that's one thing that might have come off a little bit different in the show is that I didn't, I don't respect D two or D three schools because I was just trying to go D one, and it wasn't that at all. It was just that I was always gonna give myself every single chance to go Division one until I went to a D two or D three because I, I had those, like with all due respect, I had those offers. You know what I mean? I could go D, I could go there kind of whenever I wanted, you know what I mean? So being in that position, I was able to give myself each and every opportunity to go D1. And by the grace of God, on the last chance, I made it. 
That's good, Deshaun. That hey man, you talking spicy over there. You talking spicy. <laughs> it's real. I mean, it's just that's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I told you before, we, we're gonna we're gonna get ready to dive into the two minute two two minute drill, man. We're gonna get ready to dive into the two minute drill. But before we do that, I want I want to hit you with this question. I want to hit you with this, man. How does Deshaun Hyler want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as the as the kid from East Riverside that um, that didn't give up on himself, um, that beat the odds, that 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 chose what he wanted to do in life, and he did it. Um, and he didn't let anything stop him, and you can do it too. Mm. Man, okay, 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 Deshaun, okay. I, I, I rock with that, man. I rock with that. All right. Uh, <clears throat> man, all right, here we go. Here we go. Two minute drill. Are you ready? You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Favorite food? Pizza. What kind of pizza? Pepperoni. Okay. okay. Sure. What's the What's the last book you read? I'm reading uh, um, uh, "Man's Man's Search for Meaning" by Victor Frankl. Classic, classic. What's your What's your go to Netflix show of preference? Last chance, you. <laughs> what's your favorite podcast? Um, All the Smoke. Mm, that is a good one. That is a good one. Okay. Um, what's what's one tip that you want to give to a student athlete? Um, do your homework. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> do your homework. <laughs> and then la la last question. It's just a bonus. This is a bonus. But who would you like to see me interview next on Beyond the Ball? Uh, uh, get Joe on here. Uh, hit Joe up. See what see what Joe's talking about. Joe has a Joe has a tremendous story and something to share with the people. So hit Joe. Boom. There it is, man. There, 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 there it is. There it is. Deshaun, I appreciate you, man, taking the time to, to hang out with us and rock with the, you know, rock with the faithful ballers on the show and really, really add a lot of value like you did. So my brother, I appreciate what you're doing. And uh man, just gonna be continuing to cheer you on. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Most definitely, most definitely.